What's going on, Ann crew? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. All right, guys, so before we jump into this tutorial, I've got two things to say. So, first thing is, I thought it'd be fun to do something like a post notification comment of the day. So, the way this works is you guys turn on post notifications, then comment something, and right at the beginning, say like post notifications turned on, or you know, these post notifications are turned on, or just something to let me know that you've got the post notifications turned on. And then you can comment whatever you want. It could be like a question, it could be a shout out, it could be whatever you you want and then every time I film a video I'm gonna be picking one of those post notification comments and just responding to it or talking about it or shouting out the person or something like that Sasaki would turn on post notifications he would hit that bell then he would type a comment and say I've got my post notifications on why is your dog so stupid I hate him so much and then he would comment it and it would hurt Tucker's feelings. And then the second thing I wanted to say is that either this week or next week, I'm gonna be filming an I edit my subscribers footage video. It's totally ripping off Peter McKinnon's editing your raw photos video, but my special spin is that I'm gonna be editing your guys' footage. The way you guys can submit your footage is take a three to five second long clip, totally straight off the SD card, so no editing to it at all, just completely like straight out of the camera, and then send it to this email right here, and then later this week or next week or something like that, I'm gonna be trying to edit your footage and see what I can do with it. So be sure to do that and without further ado guys, let's hop into this tutorial. Alright everybody, so I'm on the computer now and it's time to start talking about how to do this effect. Now, now before we get into this tutorial, before we jump into After Effects, there's two things I want you guys to do. The first is head down to the description of this video and you guys can actually download these two different clips of me running. And then the other thing I want you to do is actually download a plugin from videocopilot.com. I'm going to leave a link for it down in the description below. It's 100% free completely free. I have to say it's like probably the most useful plugin ever. All it is is in After Effects, it's this little task bar and you can essentially just pull it up, type in an effect and add effects to your clips really, really quickly. It's called Console, it's completely free and it's pretty much revolutionized my workflow. So I'm just, so I 100% recommend you guys to go down to the description and download that free plugin. That being said guys, let's hop into this tutorial. Okay, so I'm inside of After Effects now and the way we're gonna be pulling off these flares is using a plugin called Optical Flares from videocopilot.com. This plugin is absolutely incredible. It's used by professionals all of the time. You can go to their website and see all of the massive, massive productions that have used this plugin. Now, I'm pretty sure that there's a free trial, so you guys should go ahead and download that free trial, even if you're not planning on buying the full pack just to try it out and follow along with this video. But if you guys don't want to do that, there's also a plugin in After Effects called Flare, Lens Flare. This is not even close to being as good as optical flares, but just for you guys who want to follow along and don't want to have to buy the whole pack, that's for you. Also, see this? This is the console plugin. You can look up effects like this and add them really quickly. You can change the keystrokes to be whatever you want, but I hit control space bar and that just pops up and it's just really, really quick. And it's just a really, really quick way to efficiently speed up your workflow. All right, so that being said, the first thing you have to do is go ahead and add a solid layer. And then I'm gonna add the optical flares plugin. Right now we've got this flare going on and it's pretty cool, but it's not what I'm going for. We're going for that anamorphic look. So I'm going to go up to here, the effects controls and select the options button. It looks a little bit intimidating at first. Trust me, it's not that complicated. You just have to spend a little bit of time in here. Here's all the attributes of the flare that we have going on right now. You can solo them so you can see them on their own. You can delete them if you want. You could go ahead and go to the preset browser. It comes with a few free presets that you could use. Then you can also buy some pro presets as well, but we're going to build a quick one from scratch. So the first thing you do is we're going to add this glow effect that's going to be the base of the flare then because it's anamorphic we're going to add that streak to give it that nice anamorphic look i'm going to go ahead and add this rainbow hoop i think it looks dope you don't have to do it it's not necessarily anamorphic i just think it looks cool and then we're going to go ahead and add this multi iris as well that's all we're going to do for this anamorphic lens flare that was really quick really basic there's a whole bunch of complicated stuff you can do in this plugin that we're not going to get into because frankly i don't really know all of it so that's what we're going to be doing today but once you have flare that you're happy with we're gonna go ahead and hit okay and back in this effects control panel we're gonna go down to the render mode and right now it's on black and that's no good because we want to be able to see the footage so we're gonna select that and go to on transparent and now we can actually see it on our footage so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and line it up with the Sun the Sun in the shot is right there and we're gonna go back to the options and we're actually gonna go ahead and delete this hoop and we're actually gonna go ahead and just delete the multi iris as well we could leave it in I think it's just a bit much so we're gonna get rid of it real quick we're also gonna go over to the color select that and we're gonna just sample 
this color right here and find the one we want to use. That color looks about right. We'll drag it up on top. And then we're just going to pull down that opacity a bit. It's a little bit much right now. So we're just going to pull that down. Maybe mess around with the brightness a bit. And then the last thing we're going to do is go over to this blend mode and we're going to change it to screen. I think using screen just makes it look a little bit more natural. You do you, man. You do you. And the nice thing about this clip is the fact that we have a real lens flare going on. So this kind of blends together and we don't have to do any real tracking at all. This looks natural. It looks realistic. So we're all good to go. But now we're going to hop over to this next clip. And for this shot, we're going to have to definitely do some tracking. And we're not actually going to change this flare around at all too much. I think that works fine. But what we're going to do is just change the color. And we'll go ahead and just make it that nice blue color. What we're going to do for this tutorial, just for the sake of teaching, is just track it to this light right here. Now the issue we have right now, if we play through, is you can see that light is clearly shifting. It's clearly not attached to that light. So we're just going to go ahead and track it on. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and add the Mocha Pro plugin. You could also use the Mocha AE. This is a free plugin that comes with After Effects, so you can use that. I'm going to use Mocha Pro. We're going to go into the panel. I'm going to link a video about the day to night transition tutorial where I go into a lot more detail. But pretty much, I'm just going to draw a little mask around this guy and we're going to track forward. So there we go. Now we've got this nice track. We'll go down to export tracking data, after effects, transform data, position, scale, and rotation. Make sure it's not the corner pin. Copy to clipboard, close Mocha, save. By the way, guys, I had to go back and redo that tracking because I forgot to pre-compose this layer first and it only tracked a quick portion of it. So I did that. We're all good now. Now we've got the tracking data. And now all we have to do is just track that flare right there. So here's what most people would do. They go and say, all right, I'm going to take this little pick whip right here and I'm just going to drag it up to null one. That should do the trick, right? Wrong. That is not what you want to do. As you guys can see, you can see it's shifting the actual layer instead of moving the flare. This is what I tried to do. It's the wrong way to do it. You can see the lines right there of that blue. Instead, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up to the flare layer. Over in the flare setup, you're going to go down to position XY, and you're going to select the stopwatch while hitting Alt. Boom. Just like that. When you do that, if you go down here, you can see it's opened up the expression tab and it gives us this little pick whip right here. What we're going to do is select that pick whip, drag it down, and we're going to drop it right on the position of null one. Drop it on like that. There we go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we've got this nice tracked flare. As you can see, that flare is not going anywhere. It's tracked right on that light. And there you guys have it. That's how to add anamorphic flares to pretty much any footage inside of After Effects. And there you guys have it. That is about it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to leave your post notifications comment down below and then also submit a clip for the I edit your footage video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Peace.